These are the lands of Ock and Skeeth, with Jimston in the background. This is a farm not terribly far from Del Rye in North Ayrshire. One of the old Ayrshire legends is that of the Laird of Ock and Skeeth. One of the stories is that he was walking through his grounds when he heard somebody shouting that there were cattle in amongst the barley, in amongst the cereal. So he came rushing across, and true enough there were. There were the, ca- there were the cows, and there was one large bull. So he was carrying a pitchfork, so he rushed across. He tried to, to shoo the bull and the cows out. He was having a terrible time when he felt that the bull was somehow bewitched. After a great deal of effort, he managed to spike the bull, which made the bull rush off out of the field. The cows followed, and the bull ran into the farm barns, where it could be heard making a terrible noise. After a while, everything stopped. It all went quiet, so he went in, and all he found was this old lady who was said to be a witch called Nan Pollock, Nanny Pollock, from Ock and Maid. She was lying there totally exhausted, with some blood streaming from some cuts on her foot. She claimed she'd cut herself in a glass bottle. The court is very suspicious that, in fact, she was the witch, that she'd convert, that she'd change herself into a, a bull, because she was renowned for annoying local farmers, stopping their poultry from laying eggs, drying up the cattle, and so on. In fact, Nanny Pollock had even said that when his son was born, she, he would become a, a gift to the devil. However, they thought about it, the next day he went to challenge her, threatened with revealing her so she would be burned at the stake. But he didn't report her, and slowly became inveigled into her web of intrigue. And that, that point onwards, he had the reputation of being a warlock and being involved with the fairy folk of the nearby Blair Elfheim, the home of the elves in the Dusk Valley near Cleves Cove.